Hello and welcome back to Wrist of Rain Returns. Today we are going to be jumping into Engineer. Engineer is a class that mm, I wouldn't say is at the top of the list, this, which is why it's taken so long for us to get around to him. But I also don't dislike him. He actually has one of my favorite abilities, which is the Thermal Harpoons, which is basically like an ATG, but you can use it all the time. And then uh, his alternate skills in this game are that he gets a mortar as his primary instead of a bunch of little grenades. The mortar is actually kind of fun because you can just fire it while moving. Um, and then he also gets shockwave mines, which I, I'm i not partial to. I tried them in the Providence trial where you unlocked them and I didn't feel like they did anything. So I'm going to be st sticking with the bounding mines, which are just a huge amount of damage. Um, if you lay this on a magma worm, right before it pops up you can generally one shot them and then one thing that is different about uh uh the turrets in this game versus the normal wrist of rain one was that uh turrets now actually inherit all of your abilities so all of your items and everything that you get will go onto your turret as per usual in just in case you guys don't know the schism yet is that since we are in monsoon we are going to be Getting out of here is about as fast as possible. The first few levels, first one, two, or three levels, the timer is pretty important. And if you spend too much time uh, uh, footing around, then you kind of get obliterated. So the nice thing is that, ooh, even more missiles. Our turret will kind of do a little, a, a decent job killing some of the stuff behind us, letting us get some money. While we look for the teleporter. I am going to go up left first, I think. Because we're so close. I think that... Uh, just looking at how his abilities form. I would like to be able to focus on my own strength over top of the turrets. Because I just... I'm not a huge fan of summons myself. Which is one of the reasons why I clash with a character like this in the first place. like we got something there we can probably open this actually oh yeah and this is the mortar which you can kind of just continuously fire it's actually pretty cool i'm a huge fan of the mortar hunter sharpoon's okay it's movement speed whenever we get a kill I don't know why my turret didn't fire at the imps. I literally can't hurt that imp. Wow, okay. Apparently the mortars hit roofs, so it was actually impossible for me to hit that imp. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind, is I can't use my auto attack in a, sh in a small tunnel like that. News to me. Like we are going to be setting up right here. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, I think he went for my other turret. Oh, come on. Another freaking Hunter's Harpoon does not do much for me. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I don't think I can kill these imps. No, I don't I don't think there's a way. I might have to go ahead and say that uh I think that the other auto attack might be better. Huh. Okay then. Yeah. Not being able to hurt things that are like right in front of me 
might end up becoming a problem. We'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm not gonna pass judgment on it right away. I have only used it for a few moments. I'm a huge fan of the uh, the rockets, though. I think they also just recently got a buff. Leave that turret behind, see if he can do some work for us. Oh, come on. We need movement speed. <sighs> some of these levels with base movement speed are really hard to get around sometimes without any movement speed at all. Well, I killed something over there. Wait, I can stand on my turret. That's funny. Wouldn't have guessed that. Monster Tooth helps. I think the thing that they did with the, the missiles here is that they increased the range for a while there. They didn't have a very long range. Oh, teleporter's off on the left there. Yep. We're just going to go ahead and hit it right away. I'll pick up the unstable watch mostly because I think it's a pretty cool item and I hadn't, haven't actually had a chance to use it yet I'm just going to go ahead and hit it now because uh, I'm in danger. Yeah, I've changed my opinion to I don't know how I feel about this this primary. Woo. Scary. I want that umbrella. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing item. And then I think um let's see, we're seven minutes in. Someone told me that the watch stops the timer. Yes it does. There's some really interesting potential there. Really interesting potential. Um, we're going to take the middle item because I don't want either of those. I'd, I really liked some items here. Okay, one more item and then we're leaving. We we'll might as well walk across the right side here, at, across the top, see if we can find anything else. I definitely stayed too long, but that's okay. We're only about four minutes in to the second stage, so it's not the worst. You kind of want to try and beat five whenever possible. Which we did, so I mean, it's not the worst. But we have like no items, so this is not going to, this is going to go bad very quickly here. Oh, 
Oh, in case you didn't know, the umbrella, what it does is um, uh, whenever you activate the teleporter, it damages everything across the entire map for a short period of time, and you're invulnerable while it's going. It's honestly one of the better items in the game. Acrid should be over here, so we're going to come over here and kill Acrid real quick, because you did a free item for killing him. Feeding him, whatever. Same difference. Not gonna open. Oh, no acrid. That's unfortunate. I don't think it would have changed the run, per se, to have the other uh, primary here. But I will say I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm aware of the fact that I'm not a fan of this. If I could get some attack speed, it would be less dangerous for me to use my missiles. The reason I'm using that on cooldown is because basically it lets me buy some free time to get some kills in without spending any time here. Ideally, I could get some some stuff that reduces the cooldown of my ultimate or my use item. I just thought of a really funny build that we should try and do at some point for YouTubes. I want to see if I can... I would probably have to do this on command, but I want to see if I can do a run where I basically don't pass time. I just saw the red. Here we go. Yeah, so while it's raining, I'm invincible, and everything on the entire screen is taking damage. And I think the stopwatch is going to elongate that. Uh, no, it didn't, because it ended before the stopwatch ended. No, 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 no. Not the best situation to be in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another drone here. Wow, I do so little damage. They've kind of become desynced from each other, so it was getting really hard to damage them. There we go. Well, we kind of just need to get out of here now. There's not much reason to stay. Not doing the best here. I'd like to fully blame it on items, but I will also say that I'm not an engineer main. Engineer is probably one of the last characters I ever play.
I don't know. Is it just me or is it doesn't feel like to anyone else that uh, use items are like too common nowadays? I feel like every time I, I hit a chance shrine, I get a use item. Like I'm finally doing some damage. happens if the embryo activates the stopwatch twice does it stay stopped for twice as long I'm not sure it's an interesting question i would have preferred the other one though the one that uh wait is this the one that reduces the time no that's the double effect okay there's another uh thing that kind of looks like that but it's split in twine um, I think it's called like mitosis or something like that, that uh, cuts the cooldown of your use item down pretty drastically. Wow. Can't believe I have gotten three Voltaic Mitts. Strongest item in the game. Absolutely useless. Complete sarcasm here, by the way. Absolutely useless. Literally, all it does is electrify rope. So I basically have three dead items. The electrify is not even that much damage. It's 50% per stack. It's kind of terrible like it's it's an item that only affects things whenever you're climbing a rope only recently after you've climbed a rope and only things that then touch that rope and then on top of all that it doesn't even do that much damage this is not going to go well we'll see how what happens though I did manage to get a uh, crit glasses in there somewhere. I don't. I didn't remember seeing myself pick that up. So it must have been from one of the um, beasts of many, mothers of many. On hit items like the panic mines are actually pretty good for engineer here because my drones also have them which means that i'm actually getting some pretty nice uh panic mine drops from the drones getting hit oh and then they also have stopwatches for whenever they get low on hp that's kind of crazy It has a cooldown, though, so it only happened the first time that they get low. I think it's like seven minutes or something like that. It's a long time. Um, I am very tempted to scrap my drones for more items, but my drones are guaranteed value and the item that comes out is not guaranteed value.
taking a moment to get some money. Apparently it wasn't enough money. I need items. Come on. Wow. go. Peter Lele is pretty good. It's at least a little bit more damage. We're going to save the charge of our use item here. Golden guns. I'm fine with that. That's quite a bit of extra damage at this point. A little bit of the fence. Never hurt anyone. There's literally an enemy right in front of you. Why did you go all the way down? You know what? I'm going to go activate the teleporter. It's tempting. I should have activated this at the end of the the rain, to be honest. trapped over here in the corner is really bad yep okay Oof. jeez um engineer man okay um we're gonna try this one more time real quick but i'm gonna switch out my primary still this also gives you an idea of what this primary does basically just sends out three little grenades you can shot them shotgun them into people they're not bad i will say with the right items there are some pretty cool builds of engineer ones that i actually quite like we just kind of got screwed i mean Get, giving us four Voltaic Myths is just rude. Like, the hell are you supposed to do with four Voltaic Myths? I'll go ahead and grab this, and we will head to the left as soon as possible. Even Tatsutenabit is better than Voltaic Myth. In fact, actually, Tatsutenabit is pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say pretty good. Yeah, this is already way better.
I'm gonna check for any items right up here, and then we're gonna go over to the left and grab the two items we saw over there. Oh, hell yeah. Captain's brooch spawns a chest, which means that uh, we can be a little bit more risky with our expenditures. We're going to grab this. Of times. Very nice. Already a much better loadout. Much better loadout. Which means that this will probably, unfortunately, be a longer video because uh, <laughs> we're doing well. We are probably going to leave right away. I mean, that's six items, seven items on the first floor. And most of them are good. Basically, couldn't ask for more. Uh, we're one money is away from being able to run that again. Oh, hey, we can run it again real quick. Nope. Nuh-uh. Time to go. Three minutes, first floor. Six items. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a uh my guy there. See if we can get this chest off on the right. I don't know if we have the speed for this. Oh, we do. Uh questionably worth it. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. Ooh, we're gonna hit the health shrine first, though. These health shrines will die um as soon as you as soon as you activate the teleporter. Like that. already doing much better. I'm unsure on whether the key or the commander's uh, brooch is the better item choice. I'll take it mid is a joke. Um, but I think for now I'm going to keep the commander's brooch. I wanted to find uh, more chests nearby, but I think honestly I'm just gonna leave on teleporter. I'm a little light on items, to be completely honest. Probably shouldn't be leaving, but I'm going to. The reason I'm leaving, my logic here is that uh, we already got quite a few good items, and we're, it's kind of making us a little bit ahead here because of the good items that we've gotten. So I want to take advantage of our lead. And if I searched around and didn't get anything good, then it wouldn't be very worth it. And the chances of not getting something good were pretty high. Especially because I got all the chests that I had seen. Sprouting egg is fine. Close to this guy for the toxic worm. Spawn in a chest. If I remember correctly, this chest spawn from this are always more expensive than normal chests. 
do want to buy this. I thought that it was going to be a little bit cheaper than that. Come on. We're six minutes in. Where are all the spawns? Oh, hey. That elite dropped an item. That was helpful. Thank you. One of my friends and I actually have a suspicion that the clover might be broken because I went on a 45 minute run and I had two clovers at the beginning of the run. I got two items the entire run. I probably killed 400 elites. So that's a, like a 0.2% chance or something like that. 0.2%. So, yeah. A lot lower than what it says the chance are. So I think it says it's either 1 or 2%, but if it was 1 or 2, then I would have gotten, like, I would have gotten, you know, out of uh, 400, I would have gotten 4 or 5 items, realistically speaking, but no, I only ever got 1 or 2 the entire time. At the same time, even if you do get 1 or 2, it's still probably worth it, because they're free? I guess my real complaint is that the real odds are not actually shown. There's a chest above me? Now that I have a hobo feather, I can use my missiles a little bit safer now. Yeah, the brooch was the right choice. Okay, I am going to get out of here. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Lead all these guys off a cliff because they all die when this happens. Like lemmings. Okay, there we go. Oof. Man, I was leading so far forward. I was so tense there. It's amazing what just a little bit of movement, like a hobo feather or some, or some movement speed, can completely change your ability to survive in this game. I guess that's always been true for Risk of Rain, though. It's true in the second game. True in this game. We'll hit this twice. I'm fine with that. I would actually like some Bungus, because then what we could do is we could put the Bungus down... Well, not put the Bungus down, but the Bungus would go down near our... near our turrets. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to go ahead and do this. I'm not a fan of that.
Ah, I was really hoping for that Harvester Scythe. As soon as I saw a Blighted Spitter, I fe felt like that was going to probably happen. Well, um, despite the fact that we, we didn't win, hell, we didn't get anywhere fucking close to winning, um, this has been Engineer. Uh, at least you guys got a good, a good look at what it can do, um, what it has. I am terrible at Engineer. I am sure there's going to be people who are going to be hating me in the comments for how terribly I played this class, but it is my least favorite of of some of the Rift Revenge classes, at least some of the old ones. One of the new classes has, has won my award for most least favorite. But uh, it's not what I'm good at. So I apologize for just not a great showing. But anyways, this has been Rooster of Rain Returns. I've been Arima. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episodes. If you are, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. It just helps me out. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, if you are, you know, feel free to leave any uh, comments or suggestions on things I can do in the future. We are almost all the way through all the characters. And uh, there's not a lot of like basic stuff to do after this point. I'll probably just be having daily runs and um, potentially doing some cool shit on the side. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Goodbye.